KCPS families. I am so excited to be with you today for a read aloud. The I can statement for today is, I can participate in a conversation about the earth or sky using complex sentences. Here is our schedule for the day. First, we will get our brains ready to learn by doing a brain smart start. Second, we will talk about some vocabulary and ideas related to our story. Third, we will read a book together. As you listen to the book, I will stop at times and ask you to think about what is happening. After you finish listening to the story, we will do a special activity. Last, we will draw and write. It's Brain Smart Start Time. It's time to get your brains awake and ready to learn. Our first part of the Brain Smart Start is our activity to unite. And today we're going to do a little poem for this. And it goes like this. If you like, you can call a family member over or you can use your favorite stuffed animal during this. It goes like this. Sometimes I am tall. Sometimes I am small. Sometimes I am very, very tall. Sometimes I am very, very small. Sometimes tall, sometimes small. Sometimes neither tall nor small. Well done. The next piece of our Brain Smart Start is our activity to um, relax and do our deep breathing. So today we're going to use birthday cake breathing for our breathing. And what you do is you pretend your um, hand is a little plate and you get a birthday cake, your own delicious birthday cake or cupcake and set it on your plate. Then put some candles in, light the candles and get ready. We're going to blow them out. But remember when you're breathing, you breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth, just like this. We blew out some of the candles, but we still have some more to blow out. Let's do some deep breaths and we're going to do three deep breaths. Ready? did it, your body's getting really relaxed and ready to learn. Our next part of the Brain Smart Start is our activity to connect. And for this, we're going to do a song called 10 Little Fingers. I'm going to call over a member of my family to help me out. See if you can do the same or set up one of your stuffed animals and that can be your friend for the song. Hi, I'm Daniel, I'm gonna help my mom today. Yay, I'm happy that you're here to help. Yeah. All right, so here's how our song goes. It's called 10 Little Fingers. You have 10 little fingers and they all belong to you. They are so wonderful. Let's see what they can do. You can shut them up tight. You can open them up wide. You can put them all together and see what oh. is inside. I saw him. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> you can open them up and trace all of the lines. Right, when you open your hands. You yeah, you can trace both hands. You'll see all the lines. You can trace all of the lines. We can put them together, matching yours and mine. Thanks for the help today. I'm gonna leave now, bye. And for our last piece of the Brain Smart Start is our activity to commit. And today, let's think about committing to using good manners. And remember, when you commit, it means you promise to do something. So let's think, 
what could be a way that you could commit to using good manners? Hmm. Oh, what about saying please and thank you? That's a way to use good manners. So think about what you would like to commit to today um, to use good manners. All right, you did it. Your brains are awake. They are ready to learn. Let's get started. Now that your brain is ready to learn, I have a question for you. How do you take care of the earth? One way to take care of the earth is to pick up trash so that our neighborhoods, playgrounds, and oceans stay clean. Some of the trash that you pick up can be recycled. This symbol means recycle. Recycle means to make something new from something that has been used before. Here are some items that can be recycled. Plastic bottles, glass jars, aluminum cans, paper, newspapers or magazines, cardboard boxes. Recycling helps the earth by reducing or lowering the amount of trash on our planet. Why is it important to recycle as a way to take care of the earth? Hmm. Turn and talk to someone in your family and see what you come up with. Next, we are going to read a story about taking care of the earth and recycling. Ada, once again, written by Anna Nuncio, illustrated by Luciana Powell. There hangs Ada, sad as can be. She's a plastic bag stuck in a tree. Pre-K friends, how do you think Ada got stuck in this tree? Ada can't let go. She's nervous in the tree. She looks down and sighs. Ah, <sighs> that is where I should be. Nervous means that you might be a little bit scared or unsure about something. So if you look at Ada's face, she looks a little nervous stuck all the way up in this tree. Ada kicks and shouts, this is not where I belong. No one sees me. No one listens. On her face, a teardrop glistens. When something glistens, it means that it's a little bit shiny or sparkly. So if you look on Ada's cheek, you can see a teardrop glistening. Then crawling along the branch comes Paquita Ladybug, so tiny, in her cape all red and shiny. It looks like Paquita Ladybug has an idea. Paquita says to Ada tenderly, If those children help, you'll get to where you need to be. They love the earth. They'll know what to do. Let's ask the wind to blow for you. Two. Very hard the wind blows in and Ada begins to spin. She spins to her left. She spins to her right. She'll get free with a bit of a fight. Let go and fly! A boy shouts up. Come on, we're ready. 
give it a try. Ada pulls and shakes, wiggles and quakes. Wait, Ada needs your help. Yes, you know where Ada's place is, the place where she belongs. Pre-K friends, can you find a symbol that means recycling? You've got it if you look up here. The symbol with the three arrows going round and around, this means to recycle. When you recycle something, you take something that has already been used and make it into something else. Down falls Ada, ready to land. She floats right toward your waiting hand. Pick her up, swoop her in, place her in the recycling bin. Pre-K friends, can you find it again, the recycling symbol? You've got it, here it is, right on the trash can or recycling bin. A new life waits for Ada. Happy, fantastic. She'll be something else made of plastic. Ada says, for now, goodbye to you. But I'll soon be back as something new. What do you think Ada could come back or be recycled as? Hmm, thoughts of a plastic bag. Ada could be recycled as a flower pot, a plastic bottle, a bike helmet, or a chair in your classroom. The end. I hope that you enjoyed this story. Now let's talk about the earth and how we can take good care of our earth by recycling. And Daniel's back to help us with an activity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull some items out of this box and I found these around my house. And if you think that that item can be recycled, I want you to do this motion. And this is the sign for recycle. You make your fingers, twist them into an R and draw a circle. Recycle, just like that. So if you think items can be recycled, make this motion, recycle. If you think that an item cannot be recycled, eh, make an X. This cannot be recycled. Okay, you ready to begin? Yes. Here's our first item. I found this empty yogurt container. Mm. It's made out of plastic. It's empty. Mm. Hmm. Could it? Could this be recycled into something else plastic? Yes. I would agree. Recycle. Yes. Take good care of our earth by recycling this container. All right. Here comes another item. Oh, I found a rock. Hmm? What do you think? Can a rock be recycled? No. Eh, no. A rock happy. could be something cool to paint, or you could put it outside and decorate your garden, but we don't recycle rocks. All right, here's material. another one. An empty mm. can. This had some bubbly water in it. Now it's empty. Yeah. Recycle. Aluminum. Recycle. What do you think? Recycle. I would agree. All right, how about this? Some paper, some mail that we don't need anymore, and some paper. What is? I this think be it's good. I would agree. Recycle. Yes, you can recycle paper. 
into yeah. other paper. This up to oh, there you go. <clears throat> and how about this? This is a glass bottle, and there's a syrup in it. Once it's empty, could this be washed and recycled? Yeah. Yes, I agree. You can recycle glass. Well, this would go in our recycle pile. Oh, it's heavy. It is heavy. All right, here's another item I found around our house. A granola bar. What do you think? Can this be recycled? Sadly, no. I saw Daniel's arms go like this. And this is something to eat. We're not going to recycle it right now. Could be recycled once it's been eaten. Possibly. That's an idea. Once mm -hmm. you eat the granola bar, you could probably recycle some of the paper. Good idea. I'm getting hungry. And here's another item. <clears throat> a box. A cardboard mm -hmm. box. Could you recycle this? Yes. Yes. Recycle. You could either put this in the recycling bin or you could make it into a house for one of your stuffed animals or a sculpture or something else. Let's put this over and recycle. And here's our last item. Rufus. Stuff and morning. Rufus, can Rufus. you be recycled? <clears throat> and oh. We are not going to recycle, Rufus. Can put it here so everyone can that. see. Let's see. Oh, Rufus cannot be recycled. And he goes over here in the re not recycle pile. So well done. You did it. Now you know how to help the earth and take good care of the earth by recycling. Well done. Bye. Great job learning about how you can take care of the earth. Here is an idea for you to draw or write about. Think about why it is important to take care of the earth. Draw a picture of yourself taking care of the earth. Try and add some letters or words to your picture. Then don't forget to share your picture with your teacher. Here are some other ideas to help you keep learning about recycling and how to take care of the earth. Reuse a box or a plastic bottle or some other recycled materials to create something to play with. If you look over here, you can see that someone created an airplane out of some cardboard and a plastic bottle and taped it all together and made this airplane. Or another idea is to use some empty plastic water bottles and fill them with colorful sand and use it as a bowling set. Another idea is to create a job chart and have your job be the recycling lookout leader for your family. You can be in charge of collecting items each day and place them into the recycling bin. Another idea is to have a calendar in your home that shows which day the recycling truck comes. If possible, go outside and observe. That's all of our time for today. You did it. You listened to a story and learned how to take care of the earth. Well done. Now it's time to end our learning for today. See you later, alligator. Give a hug, ladybug. See you soon, raccoon. Bye bye, butterfly. We wish you well. We wish you well, all through the day today, we wish you well. See you next time.